For the Exxon World Sports Cars, Mauro Baldi started the number three Pirelli shot Ferrari 333 ST from the pole for the three-hour Glen Continental at Watkins Glen, New York. The first yellow flag was shown on the second lap when three Exxon Supreme GT cars spun in the middle of turn one, blocking pit exit. The race was restarted 10 minutes later with Mauro Baldi still in the lead. Baldi led for the first hour and a half until Price Cobb, driving the number two Motorola Oldsmobile, took the lead under yellow until he pitted under green. That put Fermin Velez, Baldi's co-driver, back up front, followed by Wayne Taylor in the Momo Ferrari and the number 16 Dyson Ford of James Weaver in third. With one hour remaining, Weaver passed the Ferraris for the lead. The Motorola Oldsmobile took another turn at the front, out of pit sequence with the leaders. But Weaver held the lead to the final round of fuel stops to score his second Exxon World Sports Car victory of the season. Well, Wayne was being a bit previous, actually. He sort of, sort of made a half-baked effort to get me into the pit wall, but it would just irritate me, so I just drove straight past him in the next corner. And after the chicane, our car was so much quicker than the Ferrari, I just drove straight past Berman going down towards the next.